Alright, what's up people? This is Sifurian, and right now we're going to be jumping into part 5 of Ahsoka. Oh, man, okay, so this episode apparently has been put into selected theatres. So just on that alone, it would get me hyped, because obviously it's a big episode if they're sticking it in the cinema. But the way that it ended with Anakin turning up, I've got real high hopes for this episode, man. I'm expecting, like, crazy, like maybe looking into the past like flashbacks i have seen um a thumbnail on youtube of like a young ahsoka it's not really youtube's fault it's someone with their thumbnail hoping for clickbait it's, it's like you fucker you know what I mean? <laughs> damn it um but no i'm i'm expecting flashbacks i'm i'm kind of expecting hopefully seeing into the future of what could happen if we're going to be looking through portals if, if we really are in, in the wall between worlds, I don't know, man. I, I really don't know what to expect. I'm really, I'm so pumped for this episode, man. But Sabine, she kind of gave into her her feelings and her emotions. And then she handed the uh, map over. So yeah, so now they've all gone off to try and find Thrawn and bring him back. It's going to be serious, man. Um, I have started the book Thrawn by... I want to say Timothy Zahn, is it? I don't know how you pronounce his second name. I have started that book. And when I say started, I mean through Audible. I ain't got time to sit there and read, man. I'd rather have like something playing in the background while I'm doing stuff. So I'm 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 only like a few chapters in. And I'm telling you now, man, if Thrawn comes back, he's going to be a problem. More than I probably kind of realised of how tactical and dangerous he is you know like i've always known that thorn was a a a, a problem but, but yeah anyway um if you're interested in watching the full lengths links will be all down below plus early access i don't know where i'm gonna be right now it's all over the place but i'll post it in the first comment go check that out but for now episode five of ahsoka i'm so pumped let's do this man <laughs> It really is like a, a, a beautiful looking planet, isn't it? Mom? Can I come out now? All right, but don't wander off too far. We don't know this planet, so keep Chopper with you. Come on, Chopper. Oh, I was waiting to see how Chopper was going to get down off the ramp. <laughs> But he slowed down just before the cut. <laughs> oh. Holding the helmet. Hu Yang? I told them to stay together. But they never listen. Wow. Okay, here we go. Anakin. You look the same. You look old. Well, that happens. Actually, what happened? You lost the fight. Phelan Skull. So you do remember. Mm -hmm. That's good. Why? It means you still have a chance. A chance? To live. Tell me what's going on. I'm here to finish your training. A little late for that. One is never too old to learn of Snips. Yeah, I didn't get that when he called us Snips in the um, end of the last episode because I've not watched the Clone Wars or anything, so I didn't get the. Live or die. I won't fight you. heard that before oh so he's aware of luke because that's what the reference is to yeah when luke said i won't fight you oh no let's stay there i want to go <laughs> let's stay with anakin oh my god anything no, I'm afraid the map is broken beyond repair. Wherever their destination was, we have no hope of following. Well, once we find Sabine and Ahsoka, we can worry about that. 
unless the one thing answers the other. You think they were aboard that ship? Every minute that passes without finding them here, the alternative becomes less desirable. Mm. We're overdue at HQ. Senator Organa says she can only give us cover for so long. Okay, a little name drop of Leia there, okay. Mom. Not now, Jason. There's something about the water. What? What is it, Jason? There's something out there, Mom. I can feel it. Can he sense it? Is he force sensitive? Listen to the waves. General. Okay. Being the son of a Jedi. Don't you hear it? The waves crashing? No. The lightsabers. music man <laughs> okay kid what am i missing what just happened jason has abilities his father kanan jarrus was a jedi okay <laughs> <laughs> well, okay <laughs> Ooh. Little classic Annie then. Looks like you don't have much left to offer. I haven't taught you everything yet. Oh wow. Okay, so this is the flashbacks. Yeah, that's young Ahsoka, right? Oh, okay. It's where people, like, sometimes people have to be careful with their thumbnails on YouTube, man. So annoying. Forward! Master! Hurry up, Nick! Wow, he's actually wearing the same outfit, man. Wow. This is the Clone Wars. Yeah, no kidding. This was one of our first missions. Why are we here? You tell me. I don't understand. That's your problem. Master! Wait! Oh, it looks so good, man. Well, I've not watched the Clone Wars, but my nephews, when they were younger, they had it on all the time. What about my training? This is your training. I just never sat and watched it, watched it, you know? And that young actress, that's the same actress who was Gamora in Avengers and stuff, right? Is that Rex there? My one nephew loved Rex, just... Is there a problem? We lost so many. There's always a price to be paid. It was my fault. They were following my orders. I got them killed. Come here. This is war, Ahsoka. As Jedi, it's our job to lead. That doesn't mean we don't make mistakes. But our mistakes cost lives. That doesn't bother you? Of course it does. This isn't what I trained for. We must adjust to the times. Look, when Obi-Wan taught me, we were keepers of the peace. But now, to win this war, I have to teach you to be a soldier. Mm -hmm. Is that all I'll have to teach my own Padawan one day? How to fight? Do you even want a Padawan? You know, teaching's not all it's cracked up to be. Really? What makes you say that? I'm joking. How can you joke at a time like this? What would you prefer? You want me to be more serious? I prefer it. Listen, I'm teaching you how to lead, <clears throat> how to survive. And to do that, you're going to have to fight. What if I want to stop fighting? Then you'll die. Wow. Let's go. Man, the background looks absolutely amazing, man. Just with the smoke and the light and... Oh, shit! 
I know I keep saying it, but I want more of this, man. Seeing that flicker then and, and seeing Vader. Oh my God. I don't smoke anymore, but I think I might need a cigarette after this. <laughs> is there a chance they're out here? Always, especially with Lady Tano. Yeah, she is tenacious. So was her master. Yeah? What was he like? Intense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What? Nice work, Commander. We'll secure the perimeter. Come on, come on, let's go! Wow, what up, Rex? <laughs> I don't know this battle. This was the Siege of Mandalore. We had parted ways by now. What? It looks intense. It was. You did well. You're a warrior now. As I trained you to be. Is that all? Ahsoka, within you will be everything I am. All the knowledge I possess. Just as I inherited knowledge from my master, and he from his. You are part of a legacy. But my part of that legacy is one of death and war. But you're more than that. Because I'm more than that. You are more Anakin, but more powerful and dangerous than anyone realized. Is that what this is about? If I am everything you are... You've learned nothing. Don't say that! Back to the beginning. I gave you a choice. Live. Or die. Wow. God. I thought I heard the breathing. See, this would be cool if he keeps switching back to Vader. Saw her eyes. I choose to live. There's hope for you yet. That was so cool, man. <laughs> Is it something to do with the water then? Or was it just a dream? It looked a bit weird without the headpiece, but okay. So I'm thinking like, was it a dream? Is it something to do with the water? Or, because when she grabbed the ball, it burnt her. And the line on the ball is like the wall between walls, the design and stuff. So maybe she had a connection to it because she's already been there. And the fact that she grabbed it and burned it, like... I owe you my thanks. I heard you fighting. You did? Yeah, lightsabers. Who are you fighting with? Hey, I have an idea. Yang, why don't you show Jason inside your starship? I've been in a starship before. A Jedi starship? Come along. I'll show you the training room. You have a training room in your starship? Will you train me? No. You know how to build a lightsaber? Yes. Will you teach me? No. <laughs> the last time I saw Sabine, 
She was holding this. Sabine, so you will be reunited with your friend. Do it. Do it. What is right? Took her with them. We have to go after them. I'm afraid it's not that simple. Mm. See, I hope that we actually go to this new galaxy and we see it and we come across like new species, like new planets, everything, um, and not just have them turn up with Thorn, you know? I know how to follow Sabine. Okay. I'm not sure I like this plan. Yes, I would like to second that. There's no other way. Without the map, we don't have the proper hyperspace coordinates. She's always wearing white now, ain't she? A soak of the white, is it? <laughs> Only one way to find out. It actually suits her because of the pattern on her face and her, um, her head. Wish me luck. Okay, what's what's gonna happen? Is she gonna do a um, a Grogu thing and like commune with the with the animal? Yeah, she looks really slick in the white and and like the light grey because it matches her head. It really cool. Mom, is she really gonna talk to them? That's the idea. It's just like the stories you told me. How the whales took Ezra and the bad guys far, far away. Now they'll take Ahsoka to where Ezra is? That's the hope, kiddo. I do think casting-wise, that kid would have been better as, as like a young Ben Solo. Just face shape, you know? Okay. <laughs> You're certain they know where Sabine was taken? I have no idea. What? We'll just see where it goes. It could go anywhere. <laughs> I know. That's better than going nowhere. Wow. Ahsoka, looks like they're about to jump. Hera, I'll find them. I promise. May the Force be with you. Oh my god, that could have been... A season finale even though if that was like season one of ahsoka like done it would have been one hour of like dick tease. you know what i mean that you're thinking all season that we're gonna get ezra that thrawn's gonna turn up and then we don't get it in the first season <laughs> so thank god it's not the season finale but the way that it ended oh my god just so much man the whole a world between worlds, like I said, it was that real or was it a dream? Did Anakin come to her while she was unconscious and put her into a familiar surrounding? So is it just that? It was just like a dream? Um, a forced dream, if you will? Is it something to do with the water and that planet? Because they said it looked like it was a new planet. So maybe there's something to do with the water. It would have been kind of cool if they had like tested the water and like discovered that it has like a midichlorian count 
You know what I mean? That the water itself is alive. It, it, it's the force. Maybe, like... <laughs> so, is it the water? Or is is maybe... Like I said, when she grabbed the board, the map, and it burnt her, you know, because she's already been to the... Like, who knows, man? But just really cool to kind of have that, see her and Anakin live action go at it. Because I know that she has fought Vader. I've seen bits of that from Rebels where Vader had half of his mass like, destroyed. So to see them, it, it's more live action, you know, obviously because I've not seen Rebels or Clone Wars and stuff. Uh, not really. So to actually see it in live action is really cool. And also, obviously, like Anakin, you know, having Hayden Christian come back and he's still young enough to actually play the role. Like, I don't know if they de-aged him a little bit or like maybe makeup, but I think he's still young enough to play it, you know. It's not like Mark Hamill, who obviously the only way Mark Hamill can come back now is when he's the older Jedi Master or if, if they've deep faked it because he's not 30 anymore. You know what I mean? It's not like he could come back and just pick up Luke Skywalker back in the heyday, you know. But Hayden Christian is, I think, it, so it works. Just so cool, man. And seeing them go back with, like, the flashbacks. Then again, they weren't even real, like, flashbacks, were they? It was just them going back to certain times throughout her history. You know, it was just really cool to kind of go back. The young actress did did a great job. Not just acting-wise, but I'm saying, like, the lightsaber battles. You know what I mean? Like, she was really good. And obviously, Hayden still has it. You know, we saw it in um, Obi-Wan Kenobi as well. Like, he's still got it. But it's funny. It's like, I've said this. I've said this since episode one and two, that they've got to have some type of interaction with Anakin. Maybe a flashback, something. There's something that she has to learn that then she has to pass on to Sabine. I thought that, that that's how they'll do it. But yet still, it's like she's learning something. It's not in the way that I thought in like a flashback, but yet he's still teaching her. So I thought that was really, really cool. I'm just kind of lost for words for that, man. <laughs> Give it up to Jason as well. Like obviously he's force sensitive. For being like the son of a Jedi, he's is is a bit more gifted with it. That has to go somewhere now. You know, is is Ahsoka gonna take him on? Maybe if Ezra comes back, maybe Ezra will end up teaching him because I think that would be really cool. Kanan trained Ezra, then Ezra would train Kanan's son. I think that would be really, really cool. I think you guys who are like diehard rebel fans would just absolutely love that. I think the most obvious thing would be Luke. You know, because in, in, at this time period, Ahsoka knows Luke. She's met Grogu and everything. So it would make sense that she would take Jason to Luke. But then, like I said before, for that to happen then, it means that Jason is one of the many kids that got slayed by Ben Solo. Um, <laughs> and I do think that the kid, casting-wise, could have played like a young Ben Solo. Yeah, real cool episode. Probably this one and the last episode, my two favourites of this whole entire season. Those two, hell yeah, man. Like most new shows, like the first few episodes are just establishing certain characters, establishing the situation, the environment, and then we get deep into the story. And I think like the last two episodes, we ramped it up. We're, we're in it now. We know where we are, what's going on, who's who, everything. Because not everyone coming into the show have watched Rebels, like me. There's a lot of people who probably don't even know a lot of the stuff that even I know. So they're going into this kind of blind because they've seen this cool character in The Mandalorian. You know, this cool female Jedi with two sabers and they want to know more about her. So now they've got, like, a show that they can actually sit and watch. You know what I mean? Um, so I think the first few episodes was just establishing the setup for the show. But with the, the last two... Hell yeah, man. Really... Really got the ball rolling. One thing I will say though, I don't know why we've not seen Zeb. I get it, he's a CG character, so maybe it would make sense to use him as little as possible. But I thought it it would have made sense for him to be there with the rest of the X-Wing pilots to try and find um, Ahsoka and Sabine, you know what I mean? But no, I think they're probably saving Zeb for like maybe the finale. But then saying that, also having people to come and help Where's Mando? 
like with the way that Mandalorian season three ended with, with him saying that he wanted to work for the New Republic, it kind of looked like it was going to be going through Carson. And with him being in this, I think at some point he's got to say, like, I'm, I know someone who might be able to help. And then we reach out to Mando and Grogu. And then maybe having Grogu interact with Jason might be kind of cool playing with the Force or something, you know. But we have got three episodes. So anything can happen in, in, in these next three episodes. A lot of time to fill. I'm just kind of hoping that, like, the next two... Uh, episode six and seven ain't like 30 minute episodes and then the finale is like an hour and i've just got a bad feeling that they might kind of drain it out a bit three episodes like, like a, a good hour each that's three hours that's a lot of time to fill you know but yeah okay i'm gonna have to wrap this up because i, I want to get this edited and um i'm i'm actually going to be filming some new stuff i'm not going to say what because i don't know when i'm going to be posting it but yeah, so we're going to get cracking on with more content. But yeah, if you're interested in watching all the full lengths, links and everything will be all down below. But for now, give this video a thumb up if you like it. Comment down below, let me know what you think. And subscribe if you haven't already, man, all right? I've been Sith Furion, and I'll catch you in the next one, man.